Hey guys, SC Thomas here with another video. This is an old video from 2020. So, this is four days before they declared the pandemic. And I had these two tyrant cops try to come run me off Old City Hall because the security guard, well, you know I ain't listening to him. I was pretty new at this, so I did give up my ID in this video. But I will never do that again, of course. So check it out. I just revamped it a bit. It's one video instead of two now. I think you'll like it. Check it out. I don't care if we have to go to Yeah, I'm not going nowhere. Straight up. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you, this gentleman has spoken to you already about? Yeah. Okay. You understand that you're on City Hall property here. I've Goes done this right many this times, no one's ever Pardon me? Hurt. I've done this many times. Okay, but listen to me. This is a bylaw infraction, if anything, well, and so they should be dealing sir, with it. Sir, sir, they call the police when you become unreasonable. That's why I'm here. So what I'm going to no, ask he, you, they're he's unreasonable explained it. They said, they said to me... Are you going to listen or are you going to talk? Are you going to listen or are you no, going to talk? No, are you going to listen? Whatever, bro. Move your stuff. Otherwise, you're going to get fined. Move your stuff. Give me a fine then, bro. Move your stuff. And I'll beat you in court. No why, problem. Well, why can't you be reasonable? Because I'm being, you know what? Because this is unreasonable. Because he said to me, I asked him a question, a simple question. I was asking you to listen. Let me explain. Okay, let's hear it. Okay? He come out. He said, you can't be here. Okay. I said, I asked him about the panhandlers. He said, well, if they're causing a disturbance, yes, we can run them off. Do I look like I am causing a disturbance? So you also don't have a permit to sell in city property? I'm not selling nothing, bro. It's called donation. It's called crowdfunding. That's okay. not illegal. Safe Streets Act. Look it up. It's not a Safe Streets Act. Yeah, look it up, bro. Look it up. Spare change. Look it up. Bro, bro. Officer it's Murphy. officer. Officer. Would you officer. like us to, I'm sorry. Would you like officer. us to move no, your bro. stuff for you? Or would you rather go to the That's other right. side of the street? Go ahead. So, Miss, would you like to have a conversation with us? No, she's not. She's not involved in this. Bro. Well, she's holding something that you're handing out. That's all right, bro. Okay, so why can't we just go one block that way or across the street? Here? You know why? Or because there. I'm standing my ground, and that's the way it is. Okay, so if you want to move my stuff, go ahead. Feel free. So why are you, why are you being, being so ridiculous? ridiculous? Because you guys are all being what ridiculous. Mean, you no, we're not. I'm trying it's, to make a living. It's private Give me property. a break. Well, well then you, you go over there. there. Yeah, a donation. That's how I make my living from donations. Any change would help or give. Get by law here. They can give me the summons to go to court. Here. He's not. Well, then give me my summons, baby. Otherwise, leave me alone. Sir, you're out of here, bro. I know. I know. I love being, it. Can you, can you produce some ID, please? Sure can, bro. Driver's license? Yeah, sure can. I got a, Actually, I got the government ID. Because I don't drive no more. That's fine. Right? We don't have a problem with you on the other side of the I don't street. have a problem with me we anywhere either. We don't have a problem there. I have a problem but, but with... What he's explained to you, this is... If he's by law, law, he could have given me the summons and it would solve the whole problem. Well, you still knows... have to give you the summons and you still have to leave, Yeah, sir. but that's okay because when we go to court, he's going to lose and they're going to look stupid. Just like Hamilton, well, just like Mississauga. So, you know what? Being, give me my summons, otherwise leave me alone. I um, That's why. You know what? I'm standing uh, my ground. I'm not letting people what? walk on me. What is, no more. What, what is, here's my uh, here, Here's the question. On that corner, by the Eaton Center, right? Mm -hmm. You're still getting foot traffic. It's, there's it's actually not, more room. It's not about right? it's not about traffic. It's not about that. There's a point here. It's just just like when just like when I was in Hamilton. It was a point. She asked but, me to move, but you know what? I'm not moving sir, because you asked me. Sir, did he ask you not politely? He said I was causing. Uh, if if people are causing disturbance, I am not causing disturbance. Did he not ask you politely to move? Not happening. Okay. You don't want to move to the other side there. Unless he gives me a summons to go to court, I ain't going nowhere. I don't understand why you would rather get issued a, a summons. Because this is Sending great for street grid, baby. For it's what? great for what? It's a bylaw ticket. Well, it's a bylaw ticket. Give me my oh, bylaw ticket. You'd yeah. rather take a fine than move to simply... It's not a fine. I, they have to feet. beat me in court first. You don't understand that. Do, they you can't. have allegedly committed a bylaw infraction? No, I have not. Well, that's what that's what ticket is. It's an allegation. They can't... They, they can't yeah, so they'll, they'll, they'll lose that in court. So they'll you'd get rather beat. do that and yeah. move than just move another Yeah, man. You know what? There's a point to prove. What's the a precedent, point? just like the what, precedent what I proved the, in Hamilton. What is the what point? Precedents in Hamilton. I don't well, know. The, the precedent I set in Hamilton. It wasn't about. It wasn't about me want, being in that specific spot. She was telling me I can't be there because I obviously I know she didn't like what I had there because it's Hamilton. The book's called Crackleton. I understand that. So okay, she didn't like it. Okay, she this, said, this is in Hamilton. Yeah. Okay. And she said, comes up to me when she's on her way to court one day. The bylaw yeah. officer. She goes, Oh, you got till I get back from court to be gone. 
Oh, I'm giving you summons to go to court. I said, give it to me then, baby. Okay. Give me that summons. I said, you're gonna, I said, but are you sure you want to do that? Yeah. I said, because I'm going to make you look real dumb in court when I beat you with no lawyer, which I did. Okay. I asked her two questions and they threw it out of right. court. But I set a precedent right. for people, artists, anybody like that, that are on the street, they take donations, but yeah, they might give something in return for that donation. Yeah. Understood. That's what yeah, 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 yeah. But what just you, you're, you're not realizing, this is private property. No, well, that's, right? well, that's why that there's always panhandlers there. sitting here. That's why there's always everybody else sitting here. I've sat here many times before myself. Sorry, say that again? I've sat here many times myself here okay. myself before. I've never had a problem. So now all of a sudden this guy wants to uh, jack me up and I'm not even causing a problem. I'm standing. So let's just, he works for the city of Toronto, which mm -hmm. is in charge of this property and that mm -hmm. property mm -hmm. there, city. So he's told us that the city uh, uh, property line on this building extends to the road, not the side. Show me the property line. Show it to me. Because so uh, you know what? A lot of these people are bullshitters. But just I'm like, just saying, so just, just like, just like Union Station, they tried that shit with me too. Oh, well, right to, right, right to, right to this part is our property line. I said, you know what? That's a city sidewalk. Right. So, but and here they, and and there on the other side of the street, the city sidewalk goes right to the curb. Yeah. So all I'm he's not asking is you just move across yeah. the street. Give me a ticket. Give me a summons. And but I'm you still have to move. Them. So, but I, I still, I still understand. The your point answer. is, I'm going to go to court. I'm going to win. Right. And it's going to set a precedent. That, that, that's fair. That, that's that's, that's right what this is about to me. I know, but, but that's what this is about. It's not about money. It's not about moving. It's about uh, setting the precedent. So people like him, yeah. just because they decide to, yeah. can't jack, come jack up people like but, me. But, he, but he's asked you. I didn't catch your name on your driver's license. Uh, it's Gordon. Gordon. Uh, Gord or Gordon? Gordon. 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 Whichever. Well, whatever you want. I don't want to go. Gordon. 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 Either one. I go okay, by Gordon. Um, I'll go Gordon. Uh, <coughs> but even, even if he gives you a summons, you still have to move. Yeah, that's all right. Because that's, then I go to court. I set up the precedent when I went in court. Okay. I set that precedent, and that's what makes it feel good. Because okay. then people like him, just because he doesn't like the way something looks, or because you know what, they all have ulterior motives. I, I think he's it's just, just doing like his job just work. like Jim Richards. Just like Jim Richards. I don't know who that is. Sorry. Okay, I was in the start. Jim Richards. This was a great article Emily Matthew did on me. Right okay. after Jim Richards get a hold of me from 1010 Talk Radio. Yeah. Okay. And then he has a whole different agenda. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. People have a different agenda. They don't like the look of stuff. I oh, he shouldn't be here. And I'm I'm that person that fights for those people. Okay, which, which I commend. That that is nice of you to do that. But he, he at the same time, he's just doing his job, saying the city says you can't do this on their property. That's all the city. I want to see it in writing. I, I, what it comes out of somebody's mouth, don't, I don't believe. If I see it, I'll believe you. Otherwise, give me the summons. So we, if we if we have, if I can get a copy of the land. To say you have to leave, you'll leave without. Yes, because I don't without, want to give you a ticket. Yeah, yeah. Like, without, I don't want to give you something. Without reason. Without reason. So I we, will. If I can show you proof, you got to go. You, yeah. you would be happy to move. Okay? Badly. Let me see if I can. I can't promise it, but let me see if I can get a copy right, of said, said land. Okay? Yeah. See, obviously, you can't do nothing. It's a precedent. It's a point. I hope you realize that. That's the point. I'm not going over. I'm going to get stuck with this. Didn't even understand it. Went right over his fucking head. The, so he works at City Hall. He's calling the desk to see if he can get a copy of, of the permit. In the meantime, would you mind just maybe backing up? Just to open up. Oh, yeah, I'd back up. No problem. Okay? No, no, that's no problem. I'd back up. Come so back to the fence? Oh, I just didn't want to block in case somebody wanted to watch, get a picture. That's why I did oh, that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but what's I was being, I was being thoughtful of other Appreciate people it. because I know this people uh, like to come take pictures. Yeah, of no, I didn't want to block their way. Because I'm wondering if, if maybe uh, your little setup might be the issue. I'm just wondering. Yeah, actually, that was another charge they tried to give me. Do you want, me, do you want help? I don't no. want to stuff. Oh, no. It's all stuck together. But uh, actually, in Hamilton, that was another charge they gave me. They called it erecting a stand on public property. Okay. 
for it to be a stand, it's got to be cable height. According to in Hamilton, yeah, anyway, it's got to be, like it's be cable height. Okay. okay. And it's coolers. <laughs> gotcha. But actually, I was I was on the street of Toronto before. Okay. Before my before this article. So what happened here? What, what's I was I, I, I that's how I started. I got off the street. I okay, was, good for you. I was selling. I, I, I wrote a book while yeah. I was on the street. Yeah. And then I started getting donations, taking donations for it okay. from people that used to give it to me when I was a panhandler. Right. It's like five years, four right, years right. ago. And then it just kept going, and I kept writing. I got five books, and I just kept going yeah. with it. And people love it. Emily Matthew took this. She does the housing stuff, and she wanted this article just because it was a feel good sort of something happy, something yeah, yeah. good. Some good for the news. Yeah, Most instead of just depressing the, the housing problems. Because yeah. you know who Emily Matthews, I'm sure. She did all the housing issues with Toronto and oh, the newspaper. She? Okay. Okay. she just left, actually, recently. Actually, last, Monday was her last day. Was this a while ago? It was 2017. 2017. When I only had these two books. Now I got five. Uh, very good. Good for you. It's but nice to see you get off the streets. It's, 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 um, like I'm saying, it's not, it's not a book. It's not a book. It's just setting precedent you for other people. I, I, can I can understand. I point for the little guy. That's right. I can. As long as you can understand what this gentleman, who yeah. he works for, what he's doing. I, I know, but his, like sometimes it's even them. From the person, they see it. Oh, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. They, they judge you. Or, yeah. Isn't that nature? Oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. Okay. You're wanted out west, eh? Oh, I know that. That's from when I was a drug addict. Crack cocaine. I used to be a crack addict. I wrote about it now. But so what are the books about? Your well, the, this one's, uh, these two are about Hamilton 10 years ago when I was an addict. And yeah. and I, so it was just my girlfriend was doing her master's degree in sociology. I was a high functioning addict. It's just a, it's not an anti-drug book, not a for drug book. It's just a book telling a crazy story, story about a guy right. with an addiction right. that was high functioning. I drove dealers around instead of rape, rob, and pillaging. I drove the dealers around right. and all that crap. I had cops leave their two-way radio in my freaking car and then one day all of a sudden they hear it. And I'm like, what? The? And I gave it back and blah, blah, blah. So are you giving these books away? No, I take I take a $20 donation. So if somebody so gives me... you're not selling them? No. You're just taking a donation, I take, but you're not giving them away either? No. Well, like like I said, like I have people that come by, like when I sit at Union, for instance, my regular people, they'll come by, some people have come by every day, give me five bucks, five bucks, five bucks. Mm -hmm. After they give me 25, 30 bucks, they say, here, read it. Because I just want them to read my work. Gotcha. But it's just my way of being out here and getting from money from people and not feeling like I'm just yeah, I, begging I, I, for, you know, I, for nothing. We, yeah, what I used to be. We, we I and I, was, I used to sit on the street, actually, and, sell, and uh, sit out here and panhandle, yeah. and then sit right in my sleeping bag and smoke crack. Gotcha, yeah. yeah, you know, I've come a long way yeah, from that. Yeah. You get emotional. Listen, I don't have a problem yeah. what you're doing at all. Actually, right? this, and this, if this is if this is not considered old city hall property, I don't have a problem either. You can stay here all day. Yeah, yeah. But if this gentleman tells me it is, mm -hmm. right? I don't believe it all. And I believe up to. You, I believe you, actually. I believe now I am on well, old city hall. But yeah, you know I'm what? Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. you know where the convention center is downtown. Yeah, I know where it is. You know how far this their building goes out to? Pretty close to the end. Right. Because same with the, Union. Because of the roof line. Because same with Union. Right? But this, you got to figure. This is a hundred-year-old property. So we, I don't know, but it, it could very well be to the curb because it is a hundred-year-old property. Yeah. Who, I, who knows? I just want proof but, it is from them. But if it is, if it is, I will pop down right? and move. You won't have an issue. You'll be in the sun over there at least. <laughs> right. Actually, I, I did. It was you know windier. I was actually going to set up right under that little bridge there. Yeah. Well, I see all the uh, and, 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 people there. And then, and then, and then, I went to set up, and it was like really breezy. Over. So all the Bible people on the weekends, you know how they have their little, oh, yeah, they, they set up right there. I uh, know, they set up right? at the other end too, oh my God, it's mental. But the thing I, I look at is, why cause yourself free? It's, a, it's, right? it's not you're, about You're doing a good thing, you're not It's a, not about me, I'm just going to say, it's not yeah, about yeah, only yeah, about yeah, me. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's about it's, the principle. it's about the principle, okay. setting, a, set, setting a precedent for other people. It's like, I'm the guy that's okay. willing to step up and fight for that little guy. Alright. But once if you find out it is private property, well, I'll leave. That won't have a hassle. Fair enough. If I got a paper showing me that, I'm like, yeah. yeah. He's on it. And if he's wrong, he owes you an apology. Yeah. And I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to be a jerk. No, no, we, all, we all got off on the wrong foot. Yeah. yeah okay, no, it's all good. But I'm glad. Like, all good. I could tell you guys were reasonable because you know what? Most officers would have took that as aggressive behavior. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then that would have been that. I, I would have had my bracelets on. 
<laughs> as no, a coach. Well, no, but you know, I don't know what you're saying. I'm, but, it you know, like we, in the past that's happened. No, like Anyone? I've had a lot of bad experiences here. Just like um, I'll say, I did have one just not too long ago. I'm actually up on the salt. And no, it's all good. Uh, did you like? Like I see, there's a writer here, right? I see uh, that's me. Thomas. That's, me. that's your writing name. Ghost name, right? Uh, is that what they call it? Okay. Is what they call it? Uh, I see Thomas. What, what, what are they call like the terminology for writing under uh, the ghost uh, name? It's a pen name. Pen name. That's what it's a pen name. Uh, but he, but I'm actually I've been on like the news with Cam Woolley. I've been on all the uh, oh, papers. Yeah? Check uh, me out. I'm actually a top rated writer. I'm in two public libraries. So you did the uh, the Carney, uh... 25 years. Wow. That's actually going to be a 10 book series. Would you, did you uh, like the X and all that? Yeah. Uh, I used to, I worked it. This is book one and two, and that's actually going to be 10 books in total. Yeah. Cool. But my crazy, crazy carnival career. Well, it's nice to see that you've gone from, let's call, the bottom to where you, you've penned how many books now? Oh, I've, I've, I've got rid of... I've six got, on here? Yeah, I've got, I've got six... That that sixth one coming out, Kearney three. Kearney, Kearney three. But uh, and I've got. It's nice to see though that you. What does it cost you to produce? Uh, well, now I just finally got my first print run. Before I was doing print on demand. Yeah. It was cost me about five, six bucks a book. Yeah. Now I did a, uh, uh, I did a print run that just I got came into like ten grand. And I printed two thousand books. Yeah. Cost me uh, not even three dollars a book. That's good. When you do because a print a large run. Account. Yeah, I did two thousand. Now you're gonna get your money back. That's not really. That's two thousand. I look at it there, twenty bucks each. That's forty thousand. If you sell them, I will. I've already sold oh, that Crackleton book that I ordered a print run of. That's already sold over twenty five hundred. Oh, wow. Twenty five hundred. In, in four years, I have sold over twenty five hundred. My books all together, I've sold them, got rid of over five thousand. But uh, yeah, it just I don't know. It's just a thing. I don't know. I'm always. My girlfriend always says to me too, like when we I get into these situations in the saga, same thing. You know, somebody doesn't like what they see, so they call the police or somebody and say, I don't like this. So they and then they wow. usually come up and it's the same old story and it's, But it's, she always wants to leave and I'm like, no, what I you can't. Doing? I have no problems. No, no, I know that. Right. I have no problem. You're just doing what you were called to do. That's it. That's right. I understand and you, that. And I we have to take them on his word if if and working for the city. He says, hey, this is city property yeah. or, or old city hall property. We have to take it for tour. I don't know. Yeah. Right? It'd yeah. be nice to see something that says, hey, yeah. yeah. Right? Well, we don't know the boundaries because, like I said, this building's well over 100 years old. Because anybody could just say anything. It's very simple, right? Yeah. And, and, like, and, like, and like, I'll even say, with some officers even in the past, I've had them come up and say this and that to me. And then as soon as I they realize I know what I'm talking about, they back off. Yeah. Because they just they're just trying to put that little element of scare in there. That okay, and most people what do most people do? They see any authority type of figure coming and telling them to do something, they do it. Yeah. Well, you know, you're obviously well, you're talking about because you, you referenced the Safe Streets Act right away. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. you know I know what I know what you're talking about. Actually, this book actually. How many feet from a bus shelter? That one there, that's Toronto. 20 feet from a bus stop. Huh? It's, uh, I think it's about 15 or 20 feet, but I'm never close enough. Is this 15 feet? Yeah. But I'm, I'm just out of the out of the grade. And, and you know another good one, though, with bus stops? Can't be near an ATM, can't be near a bus no, stop. No, or a, a bank. Right. Banks. So and also, see if he's got any luck with the... Uh, and, uh, and also, the, the, if it, like the yeah, one, uh, the one cop in the saga, he goes, yeah. he goes, oh, the bus station's across the street. I said, that's across the street. <laughs> so many feet. And then he goes, and then he, oh, the woman, I have, you should see it. Go to my YouTube channel. You see a video with Mississauga uh, one. Mississauga's painted the town red, okay? There's a broad. She runs that, uh, that little event. Mm. She tells me, you can't be here. I said, I said, you don't know what you're talking about. Go back in your event. On what you should do, technically, so you don't have any issues, is apply for a vending permit. Right? The only reason I say that is because the vending permit, right, if it's issued by the city, nobody can bug you. You can pretty much go anywhere as long as you're not on private property or, and, or public property. Because no, there's a difference between city property and public property. Uh, the public 
the properties like in the square. You can't go in the yeah, square. Yeah, you, yeah. That would, that's go public in, that, property. Well, that would be considered city like because a, it's, yeah. owned by, it's owned by the city. Yeah, but it's still square. public, but city property, but it's public but you property. Should, definition. You should look into... Just like a because park. Because then you could change You could change this instead of a charity, charitable. You could actually go and say, I'm selling my books, right? And you have a vendor's permit. They'll give you a picture, a little permit that goes with it, and allows you to vent your stuff legally, and no one bothers you. Right? Actually, yeah. Uh, actually, you know what I mean? At one time in Hamilton, that was a bylaw. Yeah. At one time in Mississauga, and that was the police. Actually, yeah. and then I think that town right I had bylaw, but they just came up and said that was good. All right, Gordon, I got some updates. Uh, so bylaw is tied up, they can't make it down, and we cannot. Uh, security can't get a uh, photo Perfect. of the property line. So that being said, we're going to let you stay because we can't prove whether you are or are not on city property. Okay. But when you stay and do your thing, which is a great thing. Do you want me closer to this or do you want me further away from that? Because I just did it because I didn't want people like to take pictures. Yeah, you know, it's it's fine right now right here as long as it's not impeding traffic. Yeah. Okay, that's that fine. And as long as it doesn't go be, uh, beyond yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On the monument. I just wanted to yeah. be respectful because people take pictures. That's yeah. why I had yeah. further up before. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, like the court is closed this morning. So even if you went in front of yeah. like the staircase, Okay, okay. No one's going to be going in today. If All they right. are, they're going on the side entrance. All right. So if you even impede, like, kind of where that yeah, person yeah. is in the backpack, if you move over it, open this up for photos. Okay, if somebody wants to take a picture, I'll move the chair. Yeah. So is that <laughs> is that a fair? Thank you very much. Is that fair? Yes. Yeah. We, we can't say that you are or are not. Okay, Gordon. All right, man. But what you're doing right, isn't, uh, isn't bending any rules as far as we're concerned, other than the property, which we can't prove right now. So. Okay. Yeah. Thank uh, you very much. Gordon, I'm just letting you know, bylaw has been informed. Uh, yeah. Like he said, they're tied up. So if they do... Actually, you know around, what they could do? You got my card, right? Yeah, yeah. Have your card. Uh, honestly, if, uh, if they get that information, they yeah. could email me that picture. Okay, but they need to be... So right. I could, so oh, I could, okay, oh, so yeah, I could yeah, just I see, see it from my own personal yeah. knowledge. Yeah. You know what? And then I, and then I won't even bother. Okay. Right. Ever again. The Toronto bylaw. Hey people, I'm sorry you didn't get to see the cops leave. This was my uh, first action cam, and I ran out of space, and it stopped videotaping right at the end, and yeah, nobody got to see the cops do the walk of shame. So sorry about that, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like share and comment it helps my page grow thank you